You thought I was worth saving So you came and changed my life You thought I was worth keeping So you cleaned me up inside You thought I was to die for So you sacrificed your life So I can be free So I can be whole So I can tell everyone I know You thought I was worth saving So you came and changed my life You thought I was worth keeping Lord, you cleaned me up inside Thought I was to die for You sacrificed your life So I can be free And I can be old And I can tell everyone I know Hallelujah Glory To the God who changed my life And I will praise you give you praise I worship you forever God so I can be free and I can be whole and I will tell everyone I know you thought I was worth saving yes you did Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome yeah. to another episode yeah. of AE. Yeah. I said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of AE. We are back. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dale, and this guy. What, Sorry. What is wrong I, with you? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What was that movie you're doing? I don't know. You have to say who you are. My name is Joel, and welcome to Acoustic Acoustic Energy. Energy. We are back. I'm excited for today's show. I am excited for... Well, first you have to tell them about what they just saw, because so, what they saw was amazing. This is what needs to happen. At 7.15, before every show, you need to tune into our Instagram page, Acoustic mm. Energy TV, where we have our pre-show with our other co-host, Tiffany Dawn. Got it going on, hostess with the mostest. There you go. Um, she will give, be giving away prizes, be discussing the show and other hot topics. So please tune in at 7.15 um, before every ahem, show. Ahem. Sir, we're in a new space. Ahem. Yes, so ahem. you may have noticed um, the song that we yes. did at the beginning yes. was at yes. one location. Mm -hmm. And then, boom, we're at another location. Bam. Tell yep, where we are. We are at the Wells of Fever Studios yes, right sir. here in Etobicoke, Toronto. Yes, sir. Mm. Listen, this is an amazing space. Um, I don't know what the future is going to be, but I'm excited about what is happening right here, right now. Now, listen, let us know in the chat room where you are watching from. Please put the name of your country in the chat so we know where you're watching from. <coughs> Jamaica. Let us know in the chat where you're watching from. It's only fear that we get, you know, I have to actually have a question for you, but before I even give you that question, I have a statement to make because a lot of people have been coming to you and I and um, other people on our team asking about yes. our hoodies. They are for sale. Yes, they definitely so are for sale. So we will be having hoodies and T-shirts for sale. Now, to re receive a hoodie and a T-shirt, send us an email to acousticenergytv at gmail.com. Tell us your size. Um, and what you would like, they come in black and white, the shirts and the hoodies. Now, yes. you can order it, but if you don't pay, you don't get... Yeah, you, don't make, you, you, don't you have to pay for it. That's you the have bottom to pay. line. That's what it is. <laughs> so let me ask you a question, yes. Dale Brown. So I'm going to ask you... It's a two-part question, so I'll ask you one today and, and another show. All right. Mount Rushmore has, in the States, has very famous presidents. Okay. If you had to give me... Let's just say, I'm pretty sure we can have 10 people, but for now, just give me four people that you would say 
Dale Brown's Mount Rushmore. Of gospel of singers? Of gospel artists. Now, if it's a group, that categorizes as one person. So let's say, for instance, you say take six, that's one person. So give me four people, and then after you... Three or four? Give me four. And then after you, I'll give you my four, and then on another show, right, we'll discuss I got that. mine, give I got four. mine. First off, Kirk Franklin. Obviously. Second, uh, the Clark sisters. Okay, that's two. Uh, Actually, quick question. Why the Clark sisters? Because they're amazing. They, they paved the way for gospel in its entirety. Uh, third, uh, you know what? He's new school and he's not gospel anymore. I know you're going this one. Molly Music. That's oh. my guy, Molly Music. Okay, I thought you were going Jonathan McReynolds. Oh, no, 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 okay. no, no. Not Johnny Mc. Johnny's a good dude, yes. but Molly. And um, who do I top it off with? Uh, Molly. Uh, uh, Fred Hammond. Okay, not a bad list. Let so me hear you, musician. My four, musicians. Well, no, you're, you're four. Oh, okay, because I could give musicians or No, singers. not musicians, okay. go ahead. Musicians, obviously, you have to have Kirk Franklin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go way back. I'm going Larnell Harris. Ooh. I'm going my favorite artist of all time, Lisa Page mm. Brooks. I forgot her. And um, can I put it, can I put... Like a musician in there, or that's up to you. That's up to you. You know, let's let's just stick with artists. And my fourth, I'll probably go with. You got to put take six in there. Ooh. You got to put take six in there. You got to yeah, put take six. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. Let us know what you have. Let us let know, us know four who, of yours. Yes, top four. Your Mount top Rushmore four. doesn't mean that they're the best. Just who you would put on your Mount Rushmore yes. of gospel artists. So we have the word today. We have the word by someone very special to very, this. Very, very, very special. Group. Extremely special. And he's probably looking at this right now. It's cringing like, Joel and Dale, why are you guys you're embarrassing me? Why are you guys embarrassing me? My but guy. It is our guy, our yes. friend, Daniel Guerra. Amen. Acoustic energy. I made it. Happy to be here. My name is Daniel Guerra, and I want to extend a special shout out to the Acoustic Energy team for having me. Along with the live viewers watching, Joel and Dale are close friends of mine. And when they called me, they asked me to drop a few quick spiritual gems. And after some thought, I decided what better story to share than the prodigal son. You see, we're all aware that Jesus loved to speak in parables. It was almost his unique way of communicating to people. When we take a moment to examine Luke chapter 15, there's three parables within the chapter. We have the parable of the lost sheep, the parable of the lost coin, and the parable of the prodigal son. When I personally think of these three parables in the context in which they were shared in, Although they're relevant to us today, it was clear at that time Jesus was speaking to the Pharisees, the scribes, the tax collectors, and most importantly, the sinners. But when we think of these parables, it really shows us what God's heart was really like for humanity and how God felt about us. When we take a look at the prodigal son, there's two personal takeaways that I want to share with you all tonight. The first is God loves rebels. Let me repeat that again. God loves rebels rebels. When we look at the story, we see a son that wanted his inheritance at any cost. And after receiving it, he immediately taps into worldly living. The Bible refers to it as foolish living. And after coming to his senses, after being gone for some time, he returns home. For me personally, this is where the story gets interesting. You see, you would think the father would turn him away when he saw him coming. You would think the father would say, there's no provision for you here. But the Bible says the father saw him from far off and he was filled with compassion. This father in the story is how God views us. He loves the rebel. He does his best work through sinners. When we consider what God feels for us, when we sin and live a life that doesn't reflect his character, he seeks after us. He chases us. And most importantly, he moves with compassion for us. If you feel as if you've been living a life of a rebel, doing things you constantly mentioned that you would never do again, God looks at you with compassion, not anger, not neglect, not frustration, but with compassion. The Bible mentions he ran to his son and threw his hand around him. He kissed him and told his workers to plan the biggest party possible. The father said his son was lost, but now he was found and they began to celebrate. God embraces our rebellion with no conditions. And when we think about it, that's love. And we really need to walk and believe in that calling. Now, if we shift gears, my second and final point focuses on the older son. My takeaway from that is that God loves the prideful. 
When the son found out about the party and the celebration, he complained and became increasingly angry. And even in some study Bibles, it said he refused to attend the party. He didn't share the joy his father had that his younger brother had returned. It's almost as if he viewed himself as a slave. He said to his dad, I've been slaving for you for many years and you have never even given me a goat to celebrate with my friends. Through these references, the problem is he was viewing his worth to his father based on his own behavior. And this was not him truly knowing and understanding a relationship that he had. He built a sense of pride when he realized he had done all these good things. And this was the same pride seen within the hearts of the Pharisees who were listening to the parable shared by Jesus. Pride keeps us from God. I think when we choose to rely on self-sufficiency and we create these little idols and little kingdoms, we put ourselves in situations that we can't control and often misinterpret what God is doing. God's love for us is bigger than our pride. It isn't earned, it's freely given. Nothing you can do within your prideful self would allow God to love you any less. He stands waiting for you amidst your sinful decisions with love. As the father said to his older son, everything I have is yours. And what God continually says to us is the same thing. Let's keep this in mind as we continue our walk with Christ. God, we're so thankful for your love. We're grateful for your power and your ability, dear father. In a special way, we're thankful for this acoustic energy platform that you've blessed us with, dear Father, which is really a platform where individuals can come together and showcase the blessings that you've bestowed within them. We're thankful for this opportunity where we can have this devotion, dear Father, and we can learn that you still love us when we're sinners. You still love us when we're prideful. You know, there's so many times we do things that don't reflect your heart and your character, but you continue to wait for us like the Father in the parable of the prodigal son. And we're truly thankful for that, dear God. We ask you to be with us as we strive day to day to be more like you. And we ask that you continue to keep us safe in this pandemic, dear Father, that has allowed this unique scenario where we're meeting together virtually, dear God, to celebrate your name. We ask in a special way that you forgive us of any sin that doesn't reflect your heart. And we ask that you give us the confidence to know that your sovereignty continues to reign supreme, that you continue to be good towards us, dear Father. Thank you again for this opportunity. In your name I do pray. Amen. That story never gets old to me, the prodigal son. Thank you, Brother Danny, um, for reminding us of how important it is to just trust in God. And, you know, the whole story of the prodigal son is so mm -hmm. amazing because that one son left and he was still received mm -hmm. after being away from the fold for so long. Absolutely. Right? It's a very powerful story. Extremely powerful. Let's get the show on the road. You ready? I'm just glad that you're not doing the thing anymore. That's pretty cool. I just wanted to I'll, I'll do it later. You, you probably like it. Jeez. Let's start the show with my dear friend, Aaron Manswell. He's a composer, a producer, and a native of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Big up Toronto. He holds a bachelor of, Bachelor's of Music in Composition and Recording Arts from Oakwood University and has a Master of Music in Composition from the University of Memphis. Most recently, he composed the original score for the sci-fi film, I think it's called Henri, maybe it's Henry, Henri, one of the two, but I can practice my French, my Henri, <laughs> or Henry. Uh, it's premiered. <laughs> And that actually premiered in 2021 at the B Toronto Black Film Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Manswell. What's good, Joel and Dale and uh, the rest of the Acoustic Energy team and everybody else watching. I'm Aaron, and I just want to say I'm thankful for being given the opportunity to be on the show. And I'm also thankful for being given the opportunity for my music to be featured on the show, too. And um, so when I think of The Prodigal Son, my mind automatically goes to not the end part where it gets all happy and the fact that he returns home and the father welcomes him back with open arms and whatnot. My mind goes to the in-between stage, the stage of where he goes and he gets lost and he's exploring um, that stage of just searching. And the reason why is because I feel like I'm in that stage right now. I feel like I'm at a stage where I'm just questioning a lot of things, right? Of course, the pandemic has a lot to do with that, but, um, you know, just questioning a lot of things that were, uh, that I was taught while I was uh, younger and just figuring out how they apply to me now and what, what relevance they have to my life right now. And so, you know, that's where this piece came into about. This piece is called Why? 
Um, it's performed by the University of Memphis um, String Orchestra. And I wrote it because I was at a place where I was just questioning a lot of things. You know, I had some some terrible things happen to me at that point, And I was just like, why? Like, what, what did I do to deserve this? And, you know, and nothing that I was taught in, in the beginning of my life could help me through this thing that I was going through at that point. So that's what made me just kind of back off from a lot of things and just really step out and question. And so I want to encourage anybody who's kind of going through that that space right now too, that it's okay to embrace that stage of not knowing why something happens. And if you want to, if you need to take a step back, like the particle sun did, and just go exploring and do this and do that, of course, you know, be safe with it, but, you know, be, really really try and embrace that that stage of of questioning because hopefully when you come back you'll be better for it um and so yeah so this piece is called why um performed by the university of memphis string orchestra um the soloist is a guy by the name of basil and um yeah thank you
Wow. Wow. That orchestra? Mm. Wow. Aaron Manswell never disappoints. Never disappoints. He is one talented. He didn't ask me young... to play in his orchestra, though. Um, I think what happened was he was going to ask you, but then someone else um, asked him before he got a chance got to it, ask got you. It. And, I and that's why. That's the only yeah. reason he would not ask me. Obviously. Obviously. But Aaron, you are one yes, blessed sir. Yes, brother. Sir. Continue it's, to have the Lord use you, my brother. Absolutely. So it's been a, it's been a, it's been a week. It has been a week. It's had its ups. We're alive to see another day. It's definitely mm -hmm. had its downs. Um, yeah. Um, how was your week? Let's man, let's speak on that for two seconds. You know, let's. Well, let me get back to you know it was it was refreshing too because mm -hmm. I've been following the George Floyd situation. Yes. I'm sure most okay. of us around the world have been following that. Yeah. It was refreshing to hear the outcome of the case, but just to also hear that 10 to 15 minutes prior to that, yeah. there was a shooting in Columbus, Columbus Ohio, yeah. a 16-year-old girl. Um, I don't know, like, you, 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 it's almost like you're taking two steps forward and three steps backwards. Yeah. It's and the unfortunate part is, so it, it's, it's been in mainstream new, uh, news mm -hmm. in the States, but we can't forget that we have these type of issues here in Canada this as well. This is true, yes. Uh, I think a year or two years ago, a young man by the name of uh, DeFonte Miller was beaten uh, by some off-duty cops with a pipe wow. so bad that his eye burst. <sighs> that's yeah. that's the, the day and age that we that live we're in. living in. Um, it's sad, and you know, it's, it's unfortunate that we are in this space. Mm -hmm. We don't know what to tell our kids, you know, what... what what to look for, but we do know that God is still in control. Without a doubt, without and, a and doubt. And it's good to know that the God that we serve promises us that we just need to seek him, mm -hmm. trust in him. And you know what, Joel? I think all we need to do is pray. So I'm encouraging everyone, wherever you are, um, take time to pray. Pray for your immediate space, your mm -hmm. community, your country, um, your neighboring countries. Just pray because at this time, God is the only one that can come in. When you said the key word there, community. Um, we have our black community. We have our brown community. Yes. We have our indigenous community. Yep. I think we all need to come together, um, support each other. Yes. Um, you, know, you know what's funny too? I actually think that, um, and I do agree with that 100%, mm -hmm. but if, if we don't see God without question. for all our, communities, uh -huh. it's almost like... You are you, absolutely you, you right. I, mean? I, told, so you no, I totally God agree with that statement. Man. So I think rather than just playing, praying for those communities, we yes. should just be praying. Yeah, man. It's I guess in for all communities, but we still need to come together. Oh, most definitely. Um, and definitely hopefully we, uh, change can um, happen soon. Yes, yes. All right. Coming up next, this brother comes to us from Trinidad and Tobago. Bam, bam, bam. Trini to the bone. Trini. What is, why are we doing I'm just, I'm, look, I can't move my hips, so I got to move my, okay. my shoulders. All right. I'm hearing the soul. This young ahead. man's name is Bajorn Trinidad born. His career in music was with a Casio synthesizer and just a wild imagination. 15 years later, this childhood hobby has now blossomed into a lifestyle of ministering the love of God to others through song. Now, along with singing, he works behind the scenes with producing, writing for many young upcoming artists, I'm assuming all over Trinidad and yeah. elsewhere as well. Now, for every song he either writes or produces, he gives all the credit to God for using him and his instrument. Now, I, I'm excited to hear this guy. I know you guys are. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Bijon. Trinidad, bang, bang. Don't, don't do that again, please. Hey, my name is Bijon Pierre, and I want to send a special shout out to everyone across there in the US. Also to my brothers, Dale and Joel. Thank you for having me and the entire Acoustic Energy team. Thank you for having me. You know, it's always a privilege to use the gift that God has blessed me with to bless others. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity, guys. You will have an amazing day and thank you for having me. Life never give change Pray all you want The answer is still wait Starting to doubt 
in lives that are frustrate but wait don't lose your faith times when you're starting to lose patience remember the hard days when god saw you through he was there from the start so although they're trying to break you it's father god who make you so just keep the song in your heart say life can be hard so hard so hard it's no bed of roses but hold on to god there is beauty in your scars it's no bed of roses hold on to god your foundation steady and not shaking your bends but not breaking your dark clouds will all soon be gone life is hard so hard so hard but hold on to god listen he never promised you an easy road, there are trials you must face. Never promised that the weapons wouldn't form, all of them would fail. There'll be stumbling blocks to break you down while running in this race. But all your broken pieces, God go put it back in place. Times when you're crying on your knees, saying, Father, help me please. Put an angel over me to guide my way. There'll be times you feel like giving up, but know that God is big enough. I'm listening there to every prayer you pray, pray. Life can be hard, so hard, so hard. It's no bed of roses. Hold on to God. See, there is beauty in your scars. It's no bed of roses. Hold on to God. Your foundation steady and not shaking. Your bends but not breaking, your dark cloud will all soon be gone. Life is hard, life can be hard, but hold on to God. Cause oh, there's so much peace we often forfeit, and so much needless pain we bear. Something with me, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear, yeah. And what a privilege to carry every. God in prayer. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Thank yep. you for reminding us, my brother, that in spite of how it may seem, in spite of the direction that life is taking you, yep. God is still in control. Thank you, Bijan. One of these days, I'm going to Trinidad, and we're going to do a song together, my brother. You are amazing. Stop doing that. Thank you, Bijan. Thank you. <laughs> what is in your hand? What's in your hand? You know what time it is, my, oh, my guy. Oh, ha! It's the game. Wait, hold on. So... I got a question. Daddy, how come you don't do the shoulder anymore? That's so, <laughs> Ariane, you're watching? Dale, what time is it? Oh, it's not game. It's only because of Ariane. It's only because of Ariane. It's only because of Ariane. It's only. Only. All right, okay, all right, Joe. So a few things about today's giveaway. Yes. Before I even tell you, first things first, I want to talk to you. You are a teacher. Um, you guys... As teachers, you were never given the blueprint of how to do this online virtual mm, stuff. This is true. Um, I had to help online for two weeks, and that was the hardest time of my life. And you guys do this year-round. Yep, every day. I think teachers are undervalued, are underappreciated, um, are underpaid for Amen. sure. So I'd like it. to say to all the teachers, I know... and. This goes out to all the frontline workers, but specifically I'm focusing on teachers today. I'd like to say thank you for everything that you guys do because we cannot do anything in this world without teachers. Without teachers. Yep. Gotta be so thank you. And with that being said, this giveaway is dedicated to teachers. Mm. So you can only win this if you are 
a teacher. If you homeschool or if you teach in private, public, this has to be won by a teacher. For the teachers. Now, right. one is Canadian, one is American. So we are giving away two prizes. What are the prizes, you may ask? Yes, ask I would it. like to ask. Well, what yeah. are the prizes, sir? There you go. Well, today we have, oh, pin to win. Now, this game, I get asked to play it, play it every day. Mm. It is black owned, and it is by the Ennis family. Um, they are an amazing, amazing, amazing family, and they have decided that they would like to give away their board game, Pin to Win. Pin to Win. Yes. The instructions are in there, right? So Everything is in there. It is a it. really fun game to play. So First, how, do, how, do I, how do I win? Because you said teachers can win. So how do so we win? If you would like to win, teachers, we. first things first, you have to write um, the answer to this question in the comment section. Okay? Yes. Um, and if you have previously won, unfortunately, you cannot win. We are giving away one Canadian um, game, or uh, one game to a Canadian, one game to someone anywhere else in the world. Got it. Okay? Got it. Also, before we even get to the question, um, for everyone in the chat, please show some, put some hearts, and let's just show some love to all our frontline workers, our teachers out there. Um, let's show okay. them some love yes. in our chat. I agree. So, the question here today is, we had um, a devotional done by our dear friend. Yes. What is his name? Ready and go. go. God has truly blessed our community with outstanding gifts. Acoustic Energy is an online platform that aims to create a safe space for artists to share their stories, showcase their gifts, and express love to our creator in a global space. We are dedicated to helping improve our community through the arts. And this is why we rely on donations from viewers just like you. Your donations go towards helping us purchase equipment and fund the operation of this growing organization. So how exactly do you give, you may ask? It's simple. We invite you to send a donation using e-transfer or cash app to give at acousticenergy.tv or visit us on our website, acousticenergy.tv under the button give. And while you're there, it'd be great if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel. Together, we can continue to make AE an amazing reality. Say it again. Jesus, you're 
Jesus, you're my I will. I will make room. I will prepare for you. So you don't feel like you can live. Please live in me. I will, I will make room. I will, I will, I will prepare so that you can have all of me. Don't feel, can live. Please, will you live in? I will make room for you, Jesus. I will prepare for two, Jesus, so that you can have all of me. Can live. Will you live in? I will. Lord, you can have it. Lord, you can have it. Prepare for you, Jesus. The throne of my life. Don't feel. Can't live here. Please live. Can't live. Please live in me. Can't live. Please live in me. I'm begging you, Jesus. Please live in me. Sit on the throne of my heart. Please live. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Say it. Ladies hey. 
and gentlemen. Listen up, listen up. This is not a regular day. I keep telling you. Brother. This is not just a regular old regular schmegular degla. Brother. Day. Hey, listen. I am excited. As am I, my About brother. who we have on today's show. As am I, He boss, is man. like a mentor to me, to mm. us. He's a friend of this show. He is my family. He is pastor. Damien Chandler. Yes, sir. Damien, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. What's going What's on, brother? Up? What's up, my people? How <laughs> are you doing? We're, we're, Feels like if I'm with family for real. Yes. I, yes, I, I, yes. I, am, I am your family for real. <laughs> <laughs> he said it feels like it. Yeah, let him, let him yeah, I'm not really <laughs> sure, though. I'm not really sure. I mean, we have different hue complexions, <laughs> but we are actually blood cousins. <laughs> Oh, man. Dame, we're so happy that you decided to be a part of our show today. Thank you so very much. Amen. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be here. I am a fan. I've been following uh, from across the miles. Uh, I'm here in Sacramento, California, but I'm tuning in to Acoustic Energy and, um, and just telling other people about it. And I'm so grateful for all of the creative arts that have um, just risen to the top in the midst of the pandemic. Uh, Amen. And you Amen. said something right there, creative art. So I just want to ask you a question in regards to that. Because you have written many timeless music, such as Lord We Have Come. Mm -hmm. So I want to know, and that, that has blessed people around Worldwide. the world. I want to know, what was your inspiration when you wrote the song, Only For You? Only For You? Wow. Uh, well, if, if you allow me, I'm going to rewind to Lord We've Come, if okay. you don't mind. Is that okay? That's fine. That's fine. Because I actually wrote Lord We've Come on Young and College. I remember exactly where I was. Okay. I was working a deadbeat job sitting in a cubicle, and uh, it just felt like if my life wasn't going anywhere, and I had a vision, I, I needed to think about something else. Mm -hmm. And I started to think about heaven and how beautiful heaven would be, mm -hmm. and all of the languages and all of, all of the things that we'd been through. And I thought about the Song of Moses, and I said, it's not possible for this song to just be my words or mm -hmm. Joel's words, you mm -hmm. know, or D's words. It has to be a mixture of words from people from Africa, and, and mm. it, but it comes together to make one song. Mm -hmm. So right there in that cubicle on College and Young, I penned that song. And Joel, I presented that song to so many choirs. Mm -hmm. I won't even call the names because <laughs> they're all Canadian. I know and one of them. I, I remember somebody <laughs> saying, man, that song just doesn't make no sense wow. whatsoever. Wow. But it tells me that even with your creative gifts, you have to remember that there's a place and there's a time mm -hmm. that your creative gifts might not make sense to mm -hmm. the, the people that you're in, but they haven't caught up to where God is taking you yet. Mm -hmm. you know, they're not where you are going. You know, mm -hmm. they're, they're not near they're not there yet. And, and when I presented it at the right time, it made perfect sense yep. to everyone who was there in the room. So just remember, you are creative. God has given you creative gifts, but your creative gifts are almost prophetic. Mm -hmm. They are where people will be. So don't be disappointed or try not to be too disappointed when people don't hear it or when they don't get it. When they don't get it. Yeah, I got you, I got you. No, so um, I have another question for you because we talked about music. You're a pastor, you're an author, singer, songwriter, and now you're a director. So before I even get into that, I want you to tell us What's this I'm hearing about this amazing short film that the, the buzz that's just been going around? Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Um, now, I wish I was a director, um, but um, both my, myself, my church, mm. and our sister church, uh, a Stockton Mayfair Church, serve as the executive producers of an exciting new film, and it is called Hero. Um, you know, every year, Seventh-day Adventist churches have money for evangelism. And we wanted to use this money during COVID. And we started to think, well, what are people doing at this time? And the one thing mm -hmm. everybody's doing Watch is Netflix. That's right. Everybody. I mean, I'm sure the two of you guys watch Tiger Every This show. and <laughs> yeah. and and Orange This and you know <laughs> all of that. I know. I know. You watched all of it. <laughs> um, and we just thought to ourselves, why not take the gospel to where people are? Yeah. And uh, we thought about Let's uh, connect with a group that could help us to produce a film uh, that people could enjoy. And so there's a group out of Chicago called Connect, and they've been producing, listen to this, a movie or a film every single month 
for their worship experience at their church. Wow. We asked them if they would be willing to partner with us. And it has been a crazy experience. It's way beyond anything that I imagined uh, that it would be from, you know, just learning the craft from them to them actually hiring uh, professional actresses and actors. Mm-hmm. Um, one lady, her name is uh, Nemo Purcell. She is our principal act actress and she's in, been in Bumblebee. She has been in Ant-Man. She's been in 13 mm. uh, series on Netflix. And so it was just great to see them working their craft. I promise you it's off the chain. You got to check it out. No, no, tell me, what's the name of the film again? It is called Hero. It is called Hero. So rumor has it that we have the trailer. Yes. To such um, said movie. Hero. <laughs> ah. So why don't you just do a quick little shout and introduce this trailer real quick. Ah, listen, get your popcorn ready, fluff those pillows, uh, pull your family together and be inspired uh, by one of the most inspiring films that you or I will ever see. Join me as we watch the the trailer for Hero. As a father, when you hold them in your arms for the first time, You come to understand your purpose more clearly. I have been prepared to die for Laura the second I held her in my arms. I am her father. She's my all, and I'll give her my all. Mm. Yo, I'm ready. To watch yes. that on the list right now, because you know we ain't going nowhere. We're in a lockdown. We just <laughs> put that on the list. Hero <laughs> must watch. Hero in caps. So I have. This is my thing. What What's your approach? Like, what was a part of the creative process for you when it came on to putting this whole movie together? Yeah. So um, as I said, we partnered with uh, Connect Chicago, which is a uh, uh, it's some young adults, some some young adults that went to film school uh, with creative gifts and creative arts. And we sat down and we dreamed and we, we dreamed about what we wanted to create. And really, they put a writing team together that was absolutely astounding. But I, I can tell you what we wanted to see on screen. We wanted to see, we wanted you when you were finished to be able to say, man, the love of God and mm. the sacrifice mm. of Jesus was absolutely amazing. And mm. there are lines and moments in this movie where you will cry, where you will get goosebumps. Mm-hmm. It, it, it is, it is a, a powerful retelling. And you know, the, the problem or the beauty about art is that we take things that are common and things that people have always known and we we put it in another way. And when we put it in that, when we tell it a different way, all of a sudden something that has always been mm. old, dusted off and it becomes Brand so new. beautiful. Yep. That That's what I believe Jesus did well by telling stories. You know, the gospel is like the spreading of seed. The gospel is like, you know, wh- whatever, the, a lost sheep, a lost son. Mm-hmm. As he's telling a, the same old story, he's telling it in a new way. And for everyone in the audience, their mind is exploding with new new revelations about what it means. So that's what we're hoping. Uh, and listen, Joel, uh, D, if you if you guys don't cry, if you don't get some tissue, there's something wrong with your tear ducts. <laughs> they don't work. They well, don't work. Dale's gonna definitely be- going to cry. He cries. He cries <laughs> for everything. Dale cried at Transformers. So he's definitely going to be crying. So don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So with many Christian films, one of the biggest critiques 
from the audience is that the acting is sometimes, uh, the storylines story are very cliche. cliche. Yeah, it's like, we yeah. know that. What do you think, hero, how, how is this movie going to uh, give us something different that makes it so impactful? Oh, man. Um, you know, Dell and Joel, I've never been around actors or actresses. I have no idea what they do. Mm -hmm. And I thought that what they did was simple. But yo, this cast, they are just bad. Like, mm -hmm. They know what they're doing and they they taught some I but for example, Nemo, she's she's just if she doesn't end up on the big screen, something is wrong with Hollywood. Mm. There are moments in that in that movie where the director says to her, Listen, we need you to we need you to go deep on this spot, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, for anyone who's never been on a movie set before, uh, we we filmed two and a half minutes of this movie, and it took us from ten in the morning for, till five thirty in the evening, over and over and over and over the same spot. So they were in this spot that really required emotion. And the day before, Joel, I had said to Tansy, you know, when when actors cry, I think that it's like it, you put drops in the eye and they mm -hmm, just catch mm -hmm. it when the drop is coming down. Absolutely not. This wow. girl went to such deep, dark places on film that there were times when they had to stop, cut, and give her 30 minutes to wow. recover wow. from wow. what wow. she was wow. going through. It got to the point where they were going to do that cut again. And one of the women on the set that were working on the set said, stop, you can't make her go to that dark place again. The, wow. the acting is real. You will feel it. Um, and I, I mean, I so much respect to actors. I just, I could not, I couldn't do it, even if I wanted to. Well... In my mind, I, I am an actor. I know Joel, Joel tries, but no, he's I'm a not, I'm not in my mind. I'm actually an actor. No, no, no. You, Uncle well, Carl you're, you're... Hutchinson, he's probably watching. <laughs> I've actually acted in one of his plays before. So, no, I am. I am. One of what? Ten? I am. Like, what it doesn't saying? matter. I didn't want to go back for any more. So... Just... Listen, <laughs> Damien would agree that you're just acting slim right now. That's the only actor you <laughs> <laughs> yes, my God. Then, yeah, you know, I know you felt that. I know you felt that. That hit you <laughs> in the God. court. I mean, my God, I felt that in my spirit. <laughs> hey. Listen, listen, yeah. my brother. Oh, you woke up and just chose <laughs> violence again. <laughs> listen, we want to tell you thank you for being a part of Acoustic Energy. This was a fun, uh, an amazing, a spirit filled interview. I cannot wait for the actual film to be out. I'm going to be sharing this with everybody. Um, if you're watching, wherever you are, make sure you bookmark it. Can we bookmark it? Can we just put it on somewhere? Please watch it. In fact, there's something that everyone could do. We're hosting the, the Hero VIP experience, and it allows you to actually talk to the actors and Whoa. get some deleted scenes, nice. and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So all you got to do to experience that is go to www.everyoneneeds.com. Hero.com. Mm. www.everyoneneedshero. We are proud of you, your family. We are proud of you, the acoustic yes. energy family. We are proud of you, Keep Toronto. Yes. And Barbados. We're all proud of you. Thank you for doing what you do. Keep on doing what you're doing. And brother. we'll look forward for uh, the sequel. Um, I'll be in it. That's fine. Don't worry. I don't mind. I'll take a lesser cut <laughs> for the money, but we'll, we'll discuss that. I'll give you the family rate, but I'll be on it. That's fine. We're good. Blessings to you, my brother. Dame, thank All you. All the best, man. Cool. God bless. Now in her 25th year, mm. Sharon Riley 25. and Faith Corral yes. have established yes. themselves as Canada's premier Which they are. Premier indeed. Without a question. Without a doubt. Her name speaks volumes about a journey which has been characterized by struggle, longevity, and untold blessings. Mm. The milestone of being Canada's first gospel group to sign an international recording contract is amplified by the long list of awards and achievements the choir has amassed in over a decade of groundbreaking work. One thing that I love about Sharon is throughout this whole pandemic, and mm -hmm. a little before that, she has been that, that big sister to mm. me. She's always calling, checking up on me, um, being that amazing person that she yep. is. And so it is with my, it is my pleasure, my honor to introduce 
Sharon Ryan. Hello, everyone. Hello to the Acoustic Energy family. And I'd like to say hello to the wonderful host, Dale and Joel. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, my name is Sharon Riley. And how I can relate to the prodigal son story, I think is living in this moment, in this time in history, in this pandemic. The Lord has given me, all of us, a second chance to strengthen our relationship with him. And he has allowed us to come back home. And he has welcomed us in. And he's saying that we need to strengthen our relationship, go deeper in the word, because soon and very soon we are going to see our king. I don't know about you, but I can hardly wait. This world is about to end. And through this pandemic, we need to continue to chase after the Lord because there is none like him. And even through this storm, yes, even through this storm, I challenge you to praise your way through. I'm chasing after you no matter what I have to do because I need you more and more I'm chasing after you no matter what I have to do because I need you more and more I'm chasing after you no matter what
Yes, sir, we've come to the end of yeah. another show, and um, I, I, I'm hoping I can find a way to contact um, Damien, Pastor no, Chandler. You don't need to. Because I'm actually so, going to become an actor. What yeah, so this, is, so this is the thing, right? I'm a professional actor, so I'm thinking about just um, opening a school. I have people no. in it, such as Chris Perrot, you have Sean Ariane, Barrow. You have, I, got, I got people. You have Ariane. That's I all have, you have in your actors. You haven't even heard of Chris Perrot and Sean Barrow. I Trust was. Me. I didn't play with Chris Perrot. What are you talking I, about? I, I taught him. That's why you come to my school. <laughs> Listen, guys, two things before you leave today. Don't ever sign up for Joel's Acting School, one. And two, go ahead. If you're not already do, doing so, follow us on Instagram. That's... Um, Acoustic Energy TV, Facebook, Acoustic Energy TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, yes, Acoustic Energy subscribe. TV. And if you missed your opportunity to partake or, sorry, take part in the, the giving portion of this program, you can do so at give at acousticenergy.tv. If you're here locally based in Canada, you use e-transfer, give at acousticenergy.tv. If you're anywhere else in the world, you can go onto our website. And if you're located in North America, you can go to Cash App yes. and do give at acousticenergy.tv. And also, before I forget, you must watch this show again. That was not a question. That was a command. That Ensure <laughs> that you watch this show after this episode. So there's a few things, or a few people I want to shout out. First things first, I'd like to shout out every artist yes, that yes, came on the yes. show today. Aaron, Bajorn, Damien, Aaron, Damien. Uh, Bajorn, Sharon Riley. Sharon Riley. Um, Daniel Guerra. We mm. might be calling him Pastor Daniel soon. Yeah, we got to call him soon. Pastor after this. Yep, definitely, definitely. Um, I would also like to give a shout out to uh, Salient Automobile Detailing. Yes. Um, they are... Our sponsor for this show. Yes, and, it, and it's springtime now, so it is springtime. You gotta clean your cars now. Here in Canada, um, it did snow this week, but hopefully <laughs> next week yeah. it doesn't. That's, can, that's Canadian spring, though. There's a little bit of flurries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it, that's the life we live. That's where we are. So, Salient Mobile yes. Auto Detailing. Check, check them out, out, guys. Also, check them out, guys. Pin to win. Please check out uh, their Instagram page. That is the name of their Instagram page. And also, 15 minutes before every show, um, our other co-host, Tiffany Dawn. Got it going on. There you go. She will be, uh, she has a pre... Pre-show. A, a pre-show. Yes, yes, And yes. on the next pre-show, she will be giving away a Pin game. to win. So you might want to tune in. With that being said, it's time to head out. Oh, oh my. My head is hurting. I don't know. What I'm practicing. Tell me how this is. This is the scene. Hey, what's happening? Oh no. Bye. What's happening? You know, today. Oh, this Rhythm. is. Rhythm. I could really be a good actor, though, Joel. I actually think you're bad. You really think I'm bad? For you? You're not good. You don't think I'm a good? You don't think I could act? Oh. You don't think I could act for real, for real? No, you're not an actor. Stick to singing, bro. <laughs> you know, you know, I used to act before I started singing. And that's why you started singing. <laughs> you said.
You don't think I should act? What? Why'd you get to? My parents Your voice got high and you got so soft. You don't think I should because act? Because I really think I could act. <laughs> Charles, can you act? I wouldn't. Wasn't I acting before, Charles? I wouldn't put you in the Apple Creek Christmas Cantata. You wouldn't put. Nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> That's why Damon said your belly's big. 